<sighs> okay. Before the heat gets the best of me, I'm going to have to do a big job. So big it doesn't even fit in the frame. Uh, Nobili hybrid. <coughs> and as I said in the previous video, it's not doing great. It's only giving me cakeys and those all die. I don't know why. They don't produce um, new roots and the leaves are turning yellow. Now I think that's because it's an old plant and I'm really thinking about uh, doing a personal visit to the, to the grower and handpick my own plants because this is no it's not okay <clears throat> so I'm gonna pull it out of the pot and see what horrors await another heat problem uh, it's already 25 degrees outside and the sun hasn't cleared the roof so it's still doable in the kitchen but the problem is I can't get rid of the heat in the house uh, uh, you can close everything off like windows you can um, let down the shades but in today's houses we have one inch glass so all he produced will stay in the house can put my doors open because if I do not my cat will get in and I don't want fleas in the house not in the summer okay I'm going to try to keep this in frame as much as possible. Coffee. Uh, okay, here we go. Well, I'm going to try not to damage any new stuff I find okay well that was really easy and please please you smells a bit mushy ah That's a bit of mold. Almost, all, all, almost mushrooms. So, either in just in time or this is rhizome, nothing but rhizome. Soggy roots. Okay. Hardcore. Oh. Okay. I'm going to clean it up and see what what. Pause for a minute.
Okay, <clears throat> I cleaned up most and it wasn't that dirty to begin with. As you can see already, uh, the color difference. We have nice fleshy roots like this one and it's one root, it's branching out and I'm gonna leave everything barky because I don't wanna stress this any more than I have to and let's try the new feature zoom there it is that's uh, it's not a root ball it's it's uh, I'm gonna cut away everything that's not white or green and then you see we end up with an enormous rhizome so that means you can see it's a, it's a very old plant but that doesn't matter we never give up on a dendrobium um, I'm gonna cut some stuff away and then I'm gonna come back Okay, <clears throat> this is the battlefield so far. I'm not sure if what I have in my hands is salvageable. Ah. Okay. I'm gonna show you what I, I did and almost wish I didn't. Uh, I'm gonna do this for a bit. Take you in my hand. All right, uh, this is what I'm left with. Oh. Here I have one new growth, one older one, oh, and a leafless one. And this is everything that was savable. And I'm not even sure if that's going to make it. Oh. So, it has this new growth. Let me do it like this. And it is a new growth. It's. Wait a minute. Let's turn it over. As you can see, it's coming from the rhizome. So, it's a new growth. Uh, I have another one. <clears throat> and that's this one. Oh. And as you can see, let's pull back the roots a little bit. This is a basal keiki. Which means it grows from the base of the cane. It's producing its own roots, but it's a keiki and I don't trust these keikis. So, uh, and this is the last part. It has viable roots. And again, it's one new growth and one older one. And this is what I'm left with. It's one really desiccated cane came off really easy 
it's already starting to rot at the base so that's a goner uh, with this one however and even these two they don't have any roots everything is rotten but the base of the canes are still okay and it could grow yeah you know making a decision like this uh, really hurts because it it feels to me I'm taking a dog for a walk tying him to a tree and tell him to wait while I know I'm not going to come back so this really sucks what do I do If I take this one and that one, I I'm probably will have enough. Yeah, okay. It's, uh, oh, really tough decision. Even my camera won't focus. Yeah, I'm going to throw them away. I'm going to do that now before I change my mind and do something stupid with it. <sighs> okay. The tough decision is made. And now I'm going to take the easy way out and I'm going to mount them. It's probably the only way because rescues and potting is not my forte. So I have more success with mounts than I have with potting stuff. And I just discovered this. There's a new growth. So, yep, this is going in the air. of course the new growth is on a place that's a bit in the way uh, I'm gonna leave the bark I already stressed the plant way more than I wanted to <coughs> including some root damage So I'm going to prepare some wood and some string and wire and I'm going to report back in a minute. I just spotted a second new growth on that rhizome and I'm running out of wood. So I'm going to have to do some scouting in the coming days, which will probably be at night, because going outside now is suicide. Okay. is going to be a little bit tricky because oh, I have a new growth over here and well one over there problem is they're both facing the wrong side so I will have to keep track of those and adjust them as they are growing if 
they are growing. Okay, first up. Okay, no, be very careful. What's this? Okay, now, as these two shoots grow their way down, I can pull them a little bit up and lead them to the light, always into the light. I'm running a little bit low on sphagnum. Okay, strings attached. Uh, should I close up the rhizome? Yes, I should. Uh, there's the cinnamon. Rise on close. Now for the moss part. Uh, I don't think the new growth would mind being a little moist, so I'm gonna pet it loosely. Give it plenty of room to grow in. So, uh, yeah, that should be enough. Should it be? Yes, it be. Yes, it be. Okay, it has room enough. And now, for the tying up bit. And here's the pro again. I don't have to pull the wire all that tight because it only holds the moss. The plant itself is secured by the wire. And when the moss is gone, all I have to do is cut the wires and replace the moss without even touching the orchid which is what we all want. That should be enough. One and a few more. And I have a little bit too much wire. Now for a fiddly bit. Mm -mm. Here's the second one, piece of oak. This one had a, a bigger root system, so it needs a little bit more moss. And um, I'm gonna string it up. So, should be enough. And then it's almost <coughs> too hot to work in the kitchen, so 
this will be my last tour for the day. I did watering yesterday, mounds and pots, and hallelujah, they didn't dry out completely yesterday. So I can relax a little bit. Careful not to cut anything which could be important. Come on. Oh. Very gently. Again, no elephant. use a little more moss. So. Okay. And there's the end result. The, the leaves will orient themselves uh, to the to the window, so they will slowly turn. Not all the way, but a fair part of the way. Okay, let's see what they have in store for us. Dendrobium, nobile.